I'm with a very talented man right now, celebrity hairstylist Christopher Nacelli is with us. He has run his fingers through the hair of the likes of Frida Pinto, Jessica Biel, Amy Adams, and many, many more. How are you doing, Christopher? I'm doing really well. So great to have you here. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, you know, we're all loving Meghan Markle's hairstyles. She nails it every time from a signature straight blowout to a messy bun. So you just love a versatile woman. I love a versatile woman. I mean, who doesn't? She's not afraid to play with her looks from her fashion to her hair. She goes up, she goes down, buns, straight, keeps wavy, guessing. keeps us guessing. You're somebody who can recreate any look out there. And today you're going to yeah. teach us how to achieve one of my favorite Megan looks, her big bouncy waves. Big bouncy I waves. love that look on her. Yeah, I do too. So how are we going to achieve this look today? Well, we're going to start with a nice, big, beautiful blowout. Okay. And then we're going to go in, take sections, different types of waves. The front is a little bit more exaggerated where the back has a little bit more bounce. I am super excited. I'm ready for my transformation. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. So what we have here to start this beautiful look is a beautiful clean blowout to keep the hair smooth, shiny, and then we can build from there. So a good way to start. Then the next step is sectioning your hair into four sections. It's always best to make clean, beautiful sections because that's just gonna make your life a whole lot easier during the process. Because once you have a hot iron in your hand and you're trying to like figure out where you're going, it's like I have so much hair all the way around. So if it's everything's nice and clean, then you know exactly where to start working and what you've already done. So the reason why I like to pre-curl and set it with a pin is it automatically structures the hair and makes it set very loosely. So it kind of prepares it for when you're about to hit it with the curling iron. So what you're gonna do is I just kind of just rock it right at the root a little bit, close the iron, and then just kind of pull down all the way. And then once I get halfway down or three quarters of the way down, I just start to kind of roll up. So the reason why I'm doing this type of curl is because I want the back to be a little bit more bouncy, a little bit more not so structured like an S-wave. I just want this to have nice bounce and big movement. So I'll hold this for about 10, 12 seconds, open it up, release the curl. Now sometimes you can just let it kind of just hang and set on its own, or you can actually take a pin and re-roll it and just kind of let it set into place and just leave it and forget about it. And then just continue to work up the head until you're all done. So to get the size a little bit more exaggerated, we're kind of have to change the curl pattern a little bit. It's the way you wrap the hair around the, the curling wand. Um, where the back was more of like a barrel where you just kind of roll and pin, we're gonna kind of pull away from your face and start the wave right along your jawline. So it's not gonna be like a super high curl. We're gonna start it kind of lower. And the way we wrap it is more wrapping around the iron than rolling it up. All right, so now I'm gonna start to take all the curls down from the back and then I'm gonna show you how to kind of brush the whole thing out. So as you can see, it's just kind of formed this nice big bouncy wave. What we're gonna do is just gonna take a brush, soft bristle brush, a little bit of hairspray, and then very gently, you're gonna start at the crown and just kind of work your way down and just softly kind of brush all this out. So it's nice and airy and fluffy and bouncy. And you have royal waves. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love it. Very Meghan Markle. Very bouncy. Okay, so to review, because I want to make sure I get this right. Yep, You the started rundown. with a beautiful, clean blowout, a blank canvas. For clean, beautiful, shiny hair. Then it's time to section the hair. Then it's about curl, curl, curl. Tons of curls. And yep. lastly. Most importantly. The light brush. The light brush. That's it. All right, sounds simple enough. Yep. I'll try it myself at home and see if it comes out the same way. Hopefully it will. You're awesome, Christopher. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you for being here. We'll have to do it again yeah. sometime very soon. Please. Maybe next time, the Queen's Quaff. I'd love that. <laughs>